Traveling. Keeper Enders Bay. The second United goal arrived one minute into the second half, and again it was Sheridan who scored, this time direct from a corner. Leeds' third goal was scored two minutes later as Taylor headed fiercely past Endersby. And the last and fourth goal for United was a simple affair. The York goalie fumbled and there was Mumby on hand to tap in. Leeds go through 5-1 on aggregate. Three of the region's other clubs... Right from the kickoff, Leeds seemed determined to put their Yorkshire rivals firmly in their place. This rasping drive from new signing Ken Demange was a warning to City of things to come. Such was the visitors' dominance, it was surely a matter of time before they hit the net. But as John Sheridan found, York keeper Scott Endersby was a determined last line of defence. Endersby should have been on danger money, so often was he left exposed by his fragile back four. But this brave block at Demange's feet only delayed the inevitable. Fittingly, it was the impressive Sheridan who broke the deadlock on the stroke of half-time. Put clear by Snowden, the 23-year-old midfielder made no mistake with a coolly taken goal. The Leeds fans had seen their side struggle to find the net all season, but the famine was well and truly over. After Endersby had tipped over another fierce effort from Domain moments after the restart, Sheridan's corner curled straight in to make it 2-0 on the night and 3-1 on aggregate. York's reputation as giant killers was being sorely tested, and two minutes later it lay in tatters as lead striker Bob Taylor, formerly of Horden Colliery Welfare, powered home number three. To their credit, City kept battling, but when this header from defender Tony Clegg hit the wrong side of the woodwork, they must have known their luck was out. The white avalanche kept bearing relentlessly down on Endersby, but somehow he thwarted Taylor, then substitute Mumby with a splendid double save. This wasn't the all-conquering leads of the Billy Bremner era, but the boss must have been satisfied with his side. York's aim was to give the scoreline some respectability. Leeds keeper Day tried to lend a helping hand, but on loan striker Dave Buchanan couldn't take advantage. It was left to Leeds to write the postscript to this one-sided cup tie when Peter Mumby nipped in to make it 4-0 from close range just before the final whistle. It had been a good night for Leeds and their much-maligned fans, praised for once for good behaviour by the local.